think we should be coming in live. Good morning, everyone. This is Chisho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is April 26, 2021. And we're doing a comic book reading live stream. This is, I don't know what set this is, but we started off with five. We did one reading already with Superman number 37 from 1945, I believe. And we got four more to choose from for today's reading. Uh, I thought about introducing some of the other ones that we have on the sidelines, but I think we're going to wait until we knock off a couple of more of these or maybe all of these and then introduce a new set. Uh, aside from that, we've done a lot of these, uh, a lot of them live and a lot more, I believe, as of right now that were pre-recorded that we started doing uh, comic book readings back in. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when we started. 2014, 15, 13, 12, maybe 2012. Um, I think maybe 2000 and maybe even earlier 2000 I can't remember now anyway uh, but we've done a lot of these and we've had a phenomenal time doing them uh, we've spanned golden age 1940s basically all the way to the present and we've got a nice sampling here today as well we've got golden age silver age modern age uh, with X-Men first appearance first uh, a floppy appearance I guess or series appearance of Gambit and a recent book from Vault Comics um, aside from that uh, while we wait for people to roll in to the live stream as notifications to go out gang if you want to know what this work is about I am I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o you can follow the work on Patreon if you want to get a feeling of everything that we are sharing, everything that we're creating. Huckleberry, how are you doing? Doing well, brother. I've been looking forward to this. We've had a lot of heavy stuff going on in our live streams and the world in general, so it's nice to do a comic book reading. Cheryl, hello, hello. Do you need help with a poll? Uh, I, possibly. Uh, Cheryl, if you can't do it, no worries. I can run it. I can enter it. I'll just reach over and do it. It should be fine we only have four books today so do whatever you need to do Cheryl we're good we're good hopefully you can just listen in the background Maladras too how are you doing cheers cheers Higgins hello hello welcome welcome back to another live stream Felix how's it going hanging you show pretty good Felix doing well elder god how's life crack sniff sniff do I smell comics indeed you do good afternoon to you crack Winnipeg three hours ahead so you're 12 30 1 30 no two hours ahead what am I saying two hours ahead I think you're two hours ahead of me 12 30 12 30 Bojo master hello hello hope you're doing well Brando hits good morning good morning I am only on here for a bit have a great stream thank you very much Brando hits uh, we plan on it nice chill reading yeah two hours ahead of me 12 30 here in the peg in the bank i have a lot it's surprisingly weird like there's a lot of winnipeggers in the west coast in vancouver specifically a lot of people from winnipeg make their way to the west coast i don't know why i have some really good friends from winnipeg i have some really good friends from winnipeg. felix it's 6 30 p.m in england nice good time to do a comic book reading huckleberry 1 30 in cleveland 11 30 in new mexico nice nice so we've got one hour ahead two hours ahead three hours ahead and eight hours ahead eight hour eight hours ahead in uh, england crack really eh maybe i know them maybe <laughs> that's what a lot of people that's the that's the one of the going uh joke that goes around in canada whenever you go to the states if you meet you tell you tell people that you're from canada they go oh i know i have a friend in canada you might know them <laughs> like what <laughs> there's like 33 million people here man <laughs> funny 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 uh gang for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the for the support uh very very much appreciate it and gang we are 
streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work live as it's taking place, participating in the chat here, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, for those of you that are supporting this work on Twitch, thank you very much for the support, for the follows, for the likes, for the comments, for or comments, for the coming on the live streams, for the bits, for the points, for participating in the discussion and mods, for taking care of business. Kraka, exactly, Chicho, Bojo Master. We're in, we're in future. The sun never sets. Nice, moonlight, light vermont moon moonlight in vermont how are you doing hello from vermont first time catching a live stream welcome welcome to our live stream i hope you enjoy it you picked a nice one man the comic book streams are nice and chill we'll do a little discussion at the beginning read a comic book do an outro we're done we're we're, we're sampling some amazing art amazing storytelling hopefully anyway sometimes they're a little sketchy but uh fun fun time Oh my god, 33 million people. That's all. That's all. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes be before we go live on Minds, VK, Gab, and Parlor. And we do have a Discord page. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. And in the chat, type in exclamation mark social, and all the links will pop up here. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Almighty01. And at the bottom there, there'll be a Discord link where we do have a server where there's a few hundred people sharing information, sharing content, talking, getting advice, giving advice. For live streams where we don't have any visuals, you can uh, follow the podcast as audio as a podcast on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes <coughs> huckleberry moonlight to moonlight moonlight light in vermont i love vermont i drove through the green uh, mountains earlier this year and it's a memory i'll i'll look back on for the rest of my life awesome I've heard it's beautiful. I've gone through Maine. I don't know if I've driven through Vermont. Come to Discord. We need warriors on the cup. And we will be uploading this live stream, this reading to all four of our video sharing platforms. And the segment, the reading, I'm gonna snip out of this full live stream and it will be available, should stay on Twitch as well. So there's really five video sharing platforms we have now. But this live stream will go on sensor tube will be on bitshoot will be on rumble and will be on odyssey and gang for those of you that are following the work on odyssey or want uh, to know where we're hosting a lot of our videos right i've done uh, i did the count yesterday we have a 1209 i think videos on sensor tube that we've uploaded in the last 15 years or so last night i did a sync between odyssey and sensor tube and youtube and odyssey was able to transfer over 837 i believe no 832 of the videos from sensor tube to odyssey it was only able to transfer over the last thousand videos that we've done so the initial 200 videos that we uploaded are not there i have to load those on manually and odyssey would not load on anything that was longer than two hours or over a certain size so there was a you know there's 300 and if we, i did the count correctly 377 videos that are still on sensor tube that are not backed up on odyssey and maybe during the summer i'll get a chance to transfer most of those on there uh, but at some point uh, they will be backed up on odyssey and hopefully on rumble and bitshoot as well since we're lessening our footprint on sensor tube it is a second tier video sharing platform now uh, as far as even though we have 33,000 followers on sensor tube um, we're losing subscribers on a monthly basis now uh, we're not being promoted youtube is not sending out notifications they are unsubscribing people to our channel and i'm checking the the comments and yesterday i showed my partner out of 14 comments that were posted on sensor tube that were approved by sensor tube to be posted as comments on my videos 
um, half of them were porn phishing links the other half were spam related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies so out of 14 comments that were posted two of them were legit 12 of them were just garbage I had to go in there manually and delete them so I apologize to everyone that's been following this work for 15 16 plus years on sensor tube but uh, sensor tube is um, is not a friendly place for independent content creators people who are being authentic we're not being paid by corporations we're not I'm not here pushing anyone else's agenda other than my beliefs my loves um, and if you want to follow everything that we are creating there's a reason I have a presence on three other video hosting platforms and there's a reason why I, I decided not to live stream on sensor tube they're killing independent creators so if you want to follow all this work I highly highly recommend following on the other platforms and that being said there's a handful of you that are still supporting this work on sensor tube through sensor tube membership and gang thank you very much for the support i do do very much appreciate it sensor tube is a dead horse elder god says huckleberry chicho maine is incredible too i drove through vermont on the way there nice yeah maine was beautiful and i drove through maine in 1990 uh when did i drive? no not when i i drove through maine in 1988 1988 i drove through maine beautiful so peaceful so peaceful crack as soon as i upload a video within a minute i get a, at least one spam call. yeah I, i'm getting them like a few within the first five minutes uh, it's garbage and i'm a very small channel yeah so frustrating crack cheryl says crack it is a bit uh, it is a bit for sure chicho uh sorry cheryl i just stay on top of it and block report the video yeah that's what i'm doing too but it's just taking more clicks like just imagine 12 12 comments that are approved by a you sensor to right meanwhile they 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 block some of the real comments that are coming in right so 12 comments blocked on sensor tube one click to report them right remove them one click to say it's a spam or uh explicit sexual stuff so three clicks per minimum and then four because you have to load it up so four clicks per spam or porn uh, comment multiply that by whatever number you wish however big your platform is on a daily basis why right huckleberry it's a damn shame i found you through youtube and it sucks that such a popular platform is making it so hard for new people to find your content yeah but, uh, well, but huckleberry what's going to happen is uh we talked about this in personal finance and investing this is the peak of sensor tube actually the peak occurred about i'm assuming about six months ago or a year ago right sensor tubes market share is going to continue to drop and other platforms are going to get market share like just imagine owning 90 percent of the video hosting market uh, on a disruptive innovation that is going to be around for decades to come and you drop the ball and you open up the platform <laughs> for other video hosting sites to come and take your market share away if you were if if that was your business congratulation you just failed as a business operator right elder god i stopped my premium membership on sensor too i need freedom content indeed totally she chose especially for a channel like yours that's a lot of work it's too much work like my finger really it's a lot of work okay i need to stretch my fingers because i'm i'm online I have a strong presence online but now um keep in mind i'm not no longer just uploading to sensor tube i'm uploading to three other sites so all of those clicks as well click 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 copy paste copy paste click 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 set the parameters and all that jazz it's time consuming uh unfortunate okay 
loads of people immigrating to twitch through uh the over the last year i think yeah indeed crack and other platforms and other platforms and rumble just uh recently i noticed that they're uh allowing for live streaming too sweetness sweetness and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of power of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor two that's sensor two odyssey is a new a new video site for ceo jeremy coffin said was created to recapture some of the freedom and independence of the internet he grew up with elder god posting this uh quote in internet where quote anyone could speak and anyone could have a voice kaufman argued that since then the internet has become very corporate with a small number of companies controlling the flow of information odyssey was created to provide an alternative and eventually more than that indeed and there's a reason why the securities exchange commission the commission wall street central power is going after odyssey library regarding their crypto the way they're doing the incorporating blockchain technology with their platform right they're trying to kill odyssey if they're trying to kill a platform if the censors are trying to kill a platform as a creator it's a good idea to support that platform as an independent creator right there's a reason why i synced my odyssey channel with youtube there's two channels we have now on odyssey one of them is chicho youtube sync that contains the 832 videos that i just synced up from last night so it contains mirrors the ones we've uploaded in the last like 90 videos on the odyssey channel which is just called chicho and i'm going to be uploading all of these videos to that odyssey channel chicho and if you want want to have access to the previous videos is chicho youtube sync on odyssey <sighs> gang i'm going to take these things down and oops took the wrong one down and that's the second time i've done that i think i might need stronger glasses da, 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 da. let's do some comic book reading that's enough politics and technical difficulties gang we got four four comic books to choose from okay let me give you the lowdown on this and we're gonna run a poll elder god are you on uh, on mobile it's difficult for you to run polls on mobile so i'm gonna set up the poll as soon as i tell you guys what these are this book is from vault comics i walk with monsters it came out uh, in last year 2020 okay it came out in november 2020 is written by paul cornell he's from the uk i believe uh and he's written stuff for like doctor who and a lot of british uh impossible i'll do it all god no worries it's impossible uh it's impossible he's done a lot of writing for british uh television series not all of us are <laughs> and the artwork is by sally canterino okay i can run it i pulled up my laptop are you serious okay cheryl awesome thank you very much um and the artwork is by sally cantarino she's from new jersey and the colors is by uh dear bla kelly and she's based in dublin okay so they this is as independent as it gets gets uh in regards to comic books and is pretty international uh artist united states writer uk colors dublin and both kelly and sally uh, kelly is the last name but uh sally and dear bra there they do other types of work as well just like the writer uh paul right so it's should be a pretty interesting read okay our next option 
is uncanny x-men number 266 some people consider this to be the first appearance of gambit some people consider um, uncanny x-men annual number 14 to be the first appearance of gambit uncanny x-men number 14 annual number 14 came out a month before this came out however in terms of timeline this occurs before that one okay so uh ronnie welcome to the live stream so timeline wise this predates uncanny x-men annual number 14 but uncanny x-men annual number 14 came out a month before this one came out right so for the longest time this was considered to be the first appearance and it still is but the price of the uncanny x-men number 14 annual is kicking up big time you could have got it for a lot cheaper uh, a couple of years ago five years ago cheap 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 right and this is written by magic master by one of the greatest writers in comic book history chris claremont right and gambit was created by chris claremont and jim lee okay the cover for this is done by andy uh kubert andy kubert i want pronouncing that right andy kubert okay the artwork for this is done by mike collins inks is by joel rubenstein colors is brad brad van Kata, okay and letters by pat broso and tom obrowski um, pr brutalizing the names here again brutalizing the names brian id not sure if you were asked this before but are you more of a marvel fan or i'm more of an independent brother ronnie i love valiant i collecting everything valiant but i buy a lot of independence most of my buys are independence okay um, uh, my pull list anyway on a weekly basis back issue wise i i'm all over the place i'm all over the place uh huckleberry i used to i used to love gambit as a kid my friend and i used to practice throwing playing cards in the bathroom uh, when i was in elementary school awesome awesome did you put that kinetic energy in there to go pop uh, make them pop ronnie i like gambit in the wolverine movie yeah i see crack independent small press all the way yeah me and crack have sort of the same taste in regard if you've if you've been in the comic book collecting business for a while uh aficionado for a while you're collecting a lot of independence a lot of independence okay and here's one of them one of the great comic books companies from they start off in the golden age of comics ec comics okay and this is impact number three oh yeah by the way as far as the date goes this is 2020 this was the date for this is 1990 okay impact is nine from 1955 and it's one of the first i believe it's the second issue in the impact series which was uh, categorized as um, approved by the comic code authority right and ec comics these guys here these guys were magic however unfortunately censorship destroyed the company and the only thing that really remained from them was mad comics but they were producing some amazing comic books some of the best comic books from the golden age of comics okay were ec comics and then censorship kicked in and unfortunately they went under right or not under but they had to stop producing a lot of their comic books and the people that have worked on this is al uh, Feldstein, reed crandall mary severn jack davis jack kim and i'm just like, graham ingles it's just the the who's all and be all of golden age of comics a lot of them right turn up 22 uh 2004 hi chicho glad i find uh finally able to uh, glad to finally i hope i can read better better comic today than this glad to finally be able to join the live stream instead of watching everything after the fact of on censor to also i wonder how do you choose which comics to buy are there are they they are they all series you know and enjoy no no i'm only just starting out and have been buying series i know i like in other uh, mediums such as film and video games as well as ones with cool covers uh, to answer your question uh, turn uh, turn up uh, for sure I buy things that I love that I know right I, I I did a buy gang there's a comic book coming as a CGC graded book and when I show it to you you'll know what it is 
uh, and I bought this one coming in because I loved it okay so I buy things that I love all right however when I go to buy things I check the seller on eBay or I I look at the previews uh, previews order catalog that comes out every month so I go through the whole thing every every day uh, not every day every month right and I order things I pull out the pages and I go to my local comic shop uh, store where I have my pull list and you know I tell them okay can you order this for me can you order this for me and I read the description so I, I do that I also do a lot of research online right and if I see something that really intrigues me then I go for it golden age comics they're a buy silver age comics they're a buy modern like for me every genre is a buy and depending on the genre genre and the date which category of comics they're in i set a certain maximum price that i'm willing to pay for some stuff right most of my expensive buys are golden age comics golden age or silver age key comics uh, and i do buy some modern age key comics one of the, the book coming today not today uh the last buy that's coming coming it's on its way here is a modern age comic as key comic okay and to answer your question let me give you show you this comic book i bought because it intrigued me i wanted it as a historical reference right why this is i was buying from a seller right that we've bought before i was going to get books from him right books that i knew and some stuff that i found that i said okay this is pretty cool i'll buy this and this is one of the ones that i was bidding on that i ended up getting i believe oh, i didn't put the grade and stuff on here too bad uh, i need to do that uh, but we ended up buying this one i believe for ten dollars t-man and the reason and my bid for this was a lot higher like really a lot higher because i really wanted this book the reason i wanted this book was because take a look at this january 3rd and this t-man came out in 1919 where's t-man 1952 so it's a golden age comic t-man january 1952 number three and this is the reason i really wanted this book right death trap in iran right so there's a lot of rhetoric a lot of saber rattling regarding politics with iran and stuff and comic books have been used as propaganda since their inception really right and i was born in iran so i really wanted this comic book i want to see what type of propaganda is in here right a pulsating pete trask thriller and pete trask is like t-man and take a look at this thing now if you're from the middle east or asia you know that iranians you know they don't put the this is more turkish not iranian so it's an interesting historical piece for me okay so it i'm all over the place with this okay uh ronnie is it safe uh, you might say we just have good taste <laughs> crack we might say we just have good case taste within the bending comics <laughs> yeah ronnie it's safe to assume collecting comics is your favorite hobby um is it? it it is i put a lot of time and effort into it i do love it i do love it these are the four books we got gang um uh terpinator 1986 on discord ah oh, okay awesome awesome terpinator turn 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 the pay turn the pay toward <laughs> these are the books we got gang t man uh turn the, uh that's an awesome cover thanks for answering my question that's really interesting and hopefully uh hopefully uh hopeful i'm eager to learn more about the car yeah and i do end up doing a lot of research by the way like when i'm especially like one thing that happened when i started doing these readings and just creating this comic book content i died like i was doing a fair bit of research before because it's just i love the hobby but i started reading more and more about it because i wanted to know more it's the way i got into teaching mathematics right I started teaching mathematics because I love mathematics. I didn't want to forget my mathematics. And then people would start asking me questions. And to find answers for them, I dug down into the realm of mathematics more. So I learned more. It was a, I used it as a catalyst to teach myself more. Same with the comic books. As soon as I started uploading my videos on uh, online regarding comic books, a lot of questions, a lot of people got interested. 
and doing the readings i would do research and when i'm buying stuff i'm looking at th looking things up so it's just been a win 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 for me right huckleberry wow a comic book about you're on right before everything that went down in 1954 1952 indeed and that's mozatek the, the cia and the uk conducted a coup and overthrew the democratically democratically elected government in iran in 1954 with mozatek right and the reason they overthrew the democratically elected government of iran and installed the shah a dictator brutal dictator right a democratically popular person elected in iran the reason they installed him was because mozadek the government of iran nationalized the oil and said that iran's oil revenues belong to iranians right and then the cia came to overthrow them and we get look at this from 1952 all right and keep this in perspective gang there's a lot of media that people are consuming right now that is full of propaganda that the centralized powers in the west are trying to the wars that they are trying to install uh start again right that includes tvs movies comic books books music art there's a lot of propaganda being pushed on the general population regarding the next wars if you're paying attention you'll know where they are and that directly relates to investing in personal finance because if you're smart about it uh, you'll protect yourself and your family right ronnie that's awesome crack well i think it's a no-brainer uh then as far as choice is concerned we need to read t man <laughs> hilarious huckleberry big u.s treasury department stamp on the front does it <laughs> oh, there is to check this out <laughs> in this issue in this issue uh, an authorized authentic, authentic case based on the files of the u.s treasury department right and we've done propaganda readings before in our comic book readings right so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it makes you smarter it makes you more aware of what's going on right now what what man oh my god so poll is ready uh cheryl i'm just catching up with the chat gang i'm gonna skip the chat let's do the poll cheryl let's get into the reading gang we're already half an hour in huckleberry chicho manufacturing consent by chomsky is a great study of this yeah if you pay attention you see it all the time was father was born just look at the jack ryan series on amazon about venezuela oh yeah really oh man i gotta take a look at that and i call him g-man fear and trombone tromboning and tromboning at this point you can pretty much take the opposing view of whatever the u.s is saying about the middle east and you'll be right in the gang the poll is going we got i walk with monsters we got t-man with one vote right and the rest of these three are sitting at zero right now so cast your votes if you want to know cast your votes if you want to do a reading i walk with monsters gets one vote oh here we go uncanny x-men first appearance of gambit gets one vote we're slow off the guy and there's only two minutes of voting game so pick your read pick your read t-man gets another vote two votes for t-man three votes for t-man oh after that discussion regarding propaganda who, who was oh here comes gambit here comes gambit with two votes oh t-man is going with four votes take a look at this take a look at this t-man with four votes honestly you can do uh, that with just about anything for policy in these four votes for t-man we're about halfway through we got about a minute left okay gang come on t-man come on <laughs> boy <laughs> fun we got four votes for t-man we got five votes for a t-man five votes for t-man two votes for uncanny x-men number 266 first full appearance of gambit 
and one vote for I Walk With Monsters. Poor Impact is sitting there with no votes. T-Man is a six votes gang. Unless something magical happens and a lot of Gambit or I Walk With Monsters fans come along, we're going to be doing a little bit of propaganda reading from the golden age of comics. Two years pre overthrow of a democratically elected government here in Iran by MI6 and the CIA. Okay, we got about 10 seconds left six votes two votes one vote poor impact is sitting at zero and unless 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 we got t-man we're gonna read t-man phosphor phosphorescent 1983 thank you very much for the tier one sub awesome awesome gang <laughs> respect huge respect to impact gang huge respect to impact this comic right here this comic right here and this is one of my favorite covers uh really candy cigarettes lemonade 15 cents and you got a little lady setting up a lemonade stand right in front of a guy selling lemonade for 15 cents and she's selling big glasses for five cents and small glasses for three cents that's what you call entrepreneurship right awesome i love this cover <laughs> i love it <laughs> really it's beautiful i really like it fun 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 okay okay so again come on t-man come on boy <laughs> gang so we're gonna get into this reading let's do this let's do this i'm going to turn off notifications i'm going to turn off the chat we'll uh come back after this reading and uh sort of do an outro and uh talk about the reading if we want right and uh, let me find our chat there's the notifications turned off chat turned off and i'm going to take down this video right here so we don't have any interruption in terms of the reading I'll see you guys after the reading gang. <clears throat> Have a sip of tea. <clears throat> Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. Today is, what is the date today? today is april 26 2021 and we're doing a live stream on twitch where the chat basically decided out of four books that we wanted to read t-man from 1952 from quality comics okay and uh this is considered to be the golden age of comics and we just recently bought this uh, a few months ago uh, maybe two three four months ago and we got a great deal on it we paid I believe uh, like ten dollars for it I forget what the grade for this is um, it was a low grade I believe but we'll take a look at the grade on it okay and it's a beautiful cover the cover is very nicely intact let me take this out so we don't get the sheen off the mylar that I have it in okay Take off the tape so it doesn't snag on the comic when we pull it out. I usually always take off the tape. Okay. I mean, the beauty of this thing is uh, there's nothing, the cover is fully intact. And let's check it out. It might be. Oh, it's in pretty good shape this looks beautiful gang beautiful and like I said this is t-man number three came out in January 1952 okay cover is by Reed Crandall okay and the pencils uh, the inside pencils are by Edmund good okay um, and Edmund good was uh, it was pretty prolific i believe in the golden age of comics okay 
and uh, who's the other person Edmund Gore 20th century let me see what I got written up here uh, was a 20th century Canadian illustrator right and that's one of the reasons which I found this cool as well he was a Canadian artist okay and co-author of more than a dozen comic books during the golden age of comics and there's another person that's worked on this which is Harry Anderson and Harry Anderson again was present during the golden age, age of comics but he basically um, decided not to do any more comics I believe in the mid 1950s okay and Irving Steinberg has uh, some work in this as well but let's take a look at this there isn't I I couldn't figure out who did the script for this the writing for this in terms of great for this right now this looks very damn good very good very good indeed and this would be more of a mid-grade okay in this issue an authentic case based on the files of the US Treasury Department and at the beginning of the live stream there's a little bit of chunk missing here take a look see that see that and at the beginning of this live stream uh, with chat uh, we mentioned that this book came out in 1952 and the CIA MI6 backed coup of a democratically elected government in Iran where they installed a brutal dictatorship in Iran took place in 1954 when the CIA and MI6 were um, basically overthrew the democratically elected government of Mozatek and installed the Shah and this is from quality comics right so this comic came out two years before that overthrow took place right and one thing we noted is that in popular culture in media usually central government central power ends up using a lot of different platforms to push an agenda where they try to program brainwash their citizens into supporting certain wars and certain covert operations where they're destabilizing uh, other parts of the world and this is as far as i'm concerned a very much related to that right and that's that occurs in the golden age of comics silver age of comics bronze copper modern age of comics that's taking place right now as well not just through comic books but through television series music movies newspapers uh, everywhere in our society you will find propaganda death trap in iran a pulsating pete trosk thriller right and those of you uh, that know anything about Iran you'll know that this isn't really Iranian headgear this is a more Turkish uh, style of headgear but we haven't had read the story maybe the story begins in Turkey and continues in Iran how to fix any part of any car cool nice ignition oil filter generator carburetor motors auto repair manual very cool very cool i don't think we've seen an auto repair manual right free seven day trial take a look free seven day trial so basically learn how to become a mechanic covers every job on every car built from 1935 through 1951 very cool remember this came out in 1952 right if you're looking for a manual that does this now for every car that's created for how long is this uh 20 minus four so for 16 years i think you would need you would need i don't know what you would need and this is uh, a very nice copy very nice copy right very nice copy so I was mistaken I didn't pay a low grade I, I might have paid a very low grade price for this but this is definitely not low grade this is mid grade uh, easy right so let's have a read through this okay and uh, just so you know the people that have worked on this the cover is done by Reed Crandall 
Okay. Beautiful cover, by the way. Beautiful cover. Right? Okay. The their stories, the pencils are done by Edmund Edmund Good, inks by Joe uh Kurta, okay, legendary golden age artist. Uh, Edmund Good has done work in this, Harry Anderson has done work in this, and Irvin Steinberg has done work in this. Okay. Take a look at this. Let's look at the Usually we're taking a look at the advertisement on the back uh, back of the front cover. And we're getting a raid from Professor EXP. Welcome raid on Twitch. 10th anniversary special featuring guaranteed quality rings and watches. Free 10 day trial. There's a lot of free 10 day trials here. Eh? interesting what's the price on some of these genuine imported swiss ladies watch special 895 beautiful feminine with silk cord brand jeweled price very cool and there's there's a there's a lot of people out there that collect watches as well and some of those watches uh pretty expensive let's look at the fine read the fine print here gang let's see what this is all about t-man january 1952 number three published bi-monthly by comic magazines 163 pratt street Mer Mer Meriden, connecticut Meriden, connecticut executive offices 578 summer street stamford connecticut Everett M. Arnold, General Manager Alfred uh, Grenet, Editor, Richard Arnold, Associate Editor, Yearly Publication, Six Copies, 90 Cents, Foreign, Dollar Fifty. Applications for entry, a second class matter pending at the post office at Mer Meridian, Connecticut, under the Act of March 3rd, 1879. The characters and events pictured pictured herein are entirely fictitious. The publisher accepts no responsibility for unsolicited materials. Editors and advertise editorial and advertising offices, three four seven, Madison Avenue. Wow, it's Madison Avenue, New York, seventeen, New York copyright 1951 by comic magazines printed in the usa very cool very cool is this cut no the cover is very nicely intact this is a really nice great copy gang i like it i like it very good very good gang should we just start reading let's start reading we're not even going to flip through this there is a handful of stories here i believe so let's just go through uh, there might be two to three stories here okay and I've never read a t-man comic book this is my first t-man comic book as far as I can recollect uh, in my collection so very cool t-man oh, Cobra read what the text has to say you think this is trouble ha huh. just stick around and and see the things that can happen to an innocent tea man when his back is turned with Britain and Russia scrambling for control of Iran's oil fields anything could happen and I thought I was ready but even with my crazy experiences I'd never figured on finding myself troubles double wow it's actually talking about the politics of the time right control over iran's oil and at the time gang britain had control of iran's oil okay just so you know let's take a look at this let's take a look at this 
Very cool, very cool. In the Az Shal Hotel, near Iran's great oil fields, a week of secret diplomatic meetings draws to a close. Then we are agreed on the terms of a treaty, uh, Mir, Mir Reza. We are agreed, agreed, Effendi. The British and Americans may have the exclusive rights of our oil production. I sign because you have proved yourself friends of Iran. You respect our laws and customs as others do not. He says, after all, Mir Riza, are we not seeking to promote the dignity of all mankind? That is the way a free world would have it. Either the British or the Americans says that, right? Is he smoking a big cigar he is he's got a cigar in his hand right there big fat cat but hopefully it's a Cuban cigar suddenly hold it mop top I'll take that scrap of paper what who are you Trask is the name chum Pete Trask US Treasury Department my orders are to break this up but good man are you insane has your government gone mad he says just smart why should we uh, split oil whoa when we can bring a few troops and take it all stick around Bob I've got a present for you whoa whoa I'm already loving this comic crazy what the here raghead take this little fellow home and barbecue him for breakfast what ah a pig the insult beyond all insults to to a muslim i think they spelled muslim wrong oh my god what lunatic madman wait until your government oof slaps him in the face Take it up with Washington, kiddo, and see how far you get. Whoa. Oh my god. This is the most intense page ever. Wait a second. What what was the deal? We are agreed, Effendi. The British and Americans may have the exclusive rights to our oil production. What is going on on this page? This is wow i need to collect this whole series this is insane <laughs> what is... oh my god what the hell are you hurt sir glenn mir riza you must not uh, you must not this halt the treaty you must not this halt the treaty what treaty infidel dogs I'll sign my treaty with the Soviet. Be glad I don't order your heads to fall for, uh, fall for this insult. He's like tearing up the treaty. Whoa. There were lots of things wrong. Where there were were lots of things went <laughs> lots of things wrong with what happened in Iran, but the chief chief one was that i was ten thousand miles away the night it happened oh okay let's check this out yo look at that baby fight sam he's doing some catching fish him nice fish eat good with bacon just think five whole days with nothing to do but fish Shh, plane come fly heap fast heap low what language is this guy speaking it was an army jet and he was hot he buzzed us twice and then let us have it 
a message streamer a message streamer oh no there goes my fishing trip so i'm assuming he's the real agent that this guy's pretending to be right let's check this out so that was that i had no idea what was up but i knew it was serious u.s treasury department pete um Im imperative you fly from you fly iran at once world peace in balance contact lacy a brush a brush off field office douglas chief let's check this out it was 28 miles to the nearest landing field i made it in 26 minutes over a goat track anybody say indian don't scare him crazy like fool this indian heap scared oh my God. <laughs> wowzers a day later when we came in over uh, abra abra i still didn't know what lay behind my urgent summons i hit for our field office by way of the hotel faz uh fawaz to leave my bag suddenly huh hotel fawaz so there you are you two-timing double crossing wolf oh someone's been impersonating him look at this look at this even with the ladies must be with the ladies it is indeed it's the lady in the cover right oh are you speaking to me gorgeous ha i'm not speaking to paul revere horse revere's horse your ears are too long pete trask slap crack well i'll be an aardvark's uncle i never saw that babe before in my life he says i pulled my jangle wits together and walk to our field office hello chief what in blazes up now our numbers up if you can't straighten out a mess pete come on in and watch your step it is he the defiler of the faithful that's the blighter who struck me that's the blighter who struck me my government demands his immediate arrest and trial i'm assuming that's the british rep take it easy boy did you uh did you or didn't you attack these gentlemen in the hotel fawaz two nights ago are you nuts two nights ago i was camping in the rockies and i've got the mosquito bites to prove it then for the first time i got the whole cockeyed story so far as our department knew it so somebody's impersonating you pete to insult our friends and block that oil treaty he must be found you're telling me the louse even muscled in on my love life and that's going too far pete says <laughs> It took a lot of talking but we finally got what might be uh, laughingly called a chance just hold off until I find this egg sir you'll know which of us is which by his black eye very well uh, the Iranians I'm assuming that's supposed to be Iranian guy uh, Iranians don't wear, wear very seldom and, well no I guess some do very well you have 24 hours find this imposter and prove your uh, fantastic story and i will consider the treaty let's check this out 24 hours he says how generous can you get stop beefing that's 24 hours more than i thought we'd get just get out and perform miracles find the lead somehow he says 
how I've got to lead with a shape shaped like Venus and a slap like a mule's kick be suing be seeing suing you suing you Pete says at a time like this he can think of girls I could think of one girl the one who might lead me to my deadly double Pete thinks she came out of the Hawaz if I can find her she can tell me how she met the rat who per pretended to be me she's American about five feet uh, two blue eyes but Effendi you asked about Miss Lorna Marcy only 10 minutes ago and I told you then room 412 suddenly I was I was cold all over I say old chap pushes the guy away one side buster this is life or death he says this was no time for a polite knock I hit the door on a 412 with everything I had that rat knows I'm in town and knows she could spill his beans for him if I'm too late smack goes through the door Take a look at this assassins. Oh, and his double is right there. Nice. Look, Trusk, get him quietly. You're welcome to try, he says. Strike quickly, Razma. There must be no outcry. Assassins. This will. Oops. Let me take that before you cut yourself, stupid. Oh, he grabbed his wrist. That's actually one thing you're supposed to do when you're in a fight with a... Grab the hand, I believe, that has the knife. Ah, oh, my wrist! Shh, you heard what the boss told you. Smack. Aye. This will keep you both quiet. One punch knockout. What's this about? Now, you imitation of a. Oh, oh he's got a gun too. Wait, Mr. Tras, Trask. If you make one move, I will throw caution to the winds and destroy this dangerous witness. You win for the moment. Let the girl go, hero. Do not do no such thing, Vashil. Your bungling has caused enough trouble already. Oh, I wonder who this is in the background. Who's this? Who's this? Well, well, Fedor Kogov so you're behind this cute trick exactly trust the idea was born to me the day i saw vashil and realized how he resembled you i've been training him uh, don't get muscle bound patty your own back coggy you couldn't fool anybody in the department naturally not but after you and the girl vanish he can insult iran once more and our work will be done i wonder which country he's supposed to be representing i wonder wake up bungling dogs sons of camels take these two to my headquarters and see that they utter no sound a knife against the girl's throat should do it comrade oh indeed the russians a eh? trusk is a, a chivalrous fool who does not want her harmed let's check this out don't mind me but that's the nicest thing i ever heard said about a man the girl says chin up honey 
maybe chin up honey maybe you'll get a chance to uncork that slap on a better cheek oh that then i slapped the wrong man i'm so confused she says silence bring them quiet quickly while while the hall is empty of prying eyes he says I'd wondered how Ko Kovac, Kogov figured to get us out of the hotel. It was a shock when I got the answer. In the elevator, you two, my headquarters are on the top floor and do not expect help. My country quietly bought the Fawaz Hotel some time ago and my men are everywhere, he says. There was a sticky stick holding the spring gate of the elevator open my urge to kick some something got too strong to resist so i kicked <laughs> there was a tight spring on that gate and it uh, caught kogov neatly ugh help oh if i only had a, a custard pie she says This is like the old school elevators. It was a sliding door in front, right? Let's check it out. Never mind, honey. This is the same idea, only smear, smear. Ko Kogov was too sore to be uh, cautious now outside a gun opened up and i went into a power dive too fast to enjoy the scenery bang bang oh the girl's uh skirt being up hang on kitten here we go eek oh that's the elevator see the little handle so he's pushing the elevator down real fast We hit the main floor and started out. Run for the street and ew. Kogov must have, must have slid down the banister. Oh, is he firing a gun? I think he's firing a gun. Bang. There are telephones in the halls. We would call we would call the desk. We shot back for uh to the third floor and burst out can't we start a fire or something to draw them off afraid to pet this is a legitimate hotel we might trap old folks or children come on back into the elevator quick pete says kill them don't let them escape bang you're you're stopping between floors mr trask pete to you sugar <laughs> pete to you sugar and this is all our only hope they have enough goons to cover every floor in this fully trap come on i've jammed the controls so the cage is locked here locked there i hope this is the only way out i'm I'm with you to the bitter end, Pete, she says. Quiet now. If they don't hear the elevator moving, they won't know where we are. I've got a slim I've got a slim gamble in mind, he says. I can climb you go ahead she says I'm gambling that Kogov left my double Vashil to guard the fourth floor with only five slugs in my gun I'm with you I can bite and kick 
and scratch, she says. Oh, they're about to open it up. The door to the fourth floor from the elevator shaft. That was a pretty good hunch on him. Our Lady Luck was still riding with her favorite son. And the guy's still smoking. Brother, I wish I had time to enjoy this. Smack. It's beautiful, Pete. Bam, the girl's cheering him on. someone's coming up the stairs quick fall down and keep still play it play it the way i deal the cards karmat kogov quickly i have captured the filthy spies good work vashil we will take no more chances we'll kill them and throw their bodies down the elevator shaft he says you wouldn't want 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 to bet on that would you fatty uh your trask he says kogov started to swear and I slapped his face <laughs> absent-mindedly for getting the uh, point uh, getting the 45 automatic in my hand smack sit down and shut up screwball arc the other one I'll kill oh grab his gun Laura Lorna oh, look at this look out Pete nice work kitten Bam. Who is she shooting? There was a uh, scattered uh, f fusillade, fusillade of shots from below, and then the chief came galloping to the rescue. Where were you when I really needed you? Pete says. Pete, you're okay. We were trying to get in. The Reds had the doors barricaded. When the shooting started <laughs> kicks the guy stop mourning vashil back in russia you you'd be shot for getting messed up with a girl when you were on the job i hope they send them back they the slimy rat she says kicks up Mereza came, saw and apologized. An oil treaty was signed then and there. Mr. Trask, I owe you an apology. If there is anything my country can do for you, well, now you mention it, sir, there might be, he says. What does he want? Stand, stand by to phone your best hospital. Uh, hospital, I'm about to try to kiss a lady who saved my life but I know from experience what kind of slap she can hand out ha <laughs> what a crazy story that first page was insane and the whole premise of this thing right and this is present-day politics right now wow 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 crazy crazy let's read the second story game let's read the second story let's see who they're trash talking now let's check this out the case of the narcotic smuggler look at this look at this the case of the narcotic smuggler a true case adapted from the files of the u.s treasury department indeed indeed Let's see what this is about if you want action excitement danger become a u.s treasury agent the t-man goes everywhere does everything and all too often death dances at his side but you have to be a man of 
versatile talents and no fear to get on this force follow the thrill-packed adventures of narcotic agent Oscar uh, Oscar W Polkach as he hurdles into the ambush at Woodbine check In May of 1947, customs officers learned of a huge narcotics ring operating in Calexo on ON or Calexo on the border. I was reading that ON as an Ontario. I'm going Calexo. Calexo on the border. Calexo on the border. Border bar. Rio Club. Heading the ring was dapper Jesus de Mara, self-styled Al Capone of Baja, California. He's a big Hollywood narcotics buyer, Juan. Watch him. Maybe we can unload something on him. See, see it, Jesus. But if we do, we must shoot the comp uh, competition. They are all after him. Posing as the big holy, uh, ho posing as the big Hollywood buyer was Oscar W. Pol Polkoch, top-notch narco narcotics agent. As you see, I have the cash for the opium I ordered. He says, "Buena, it is good. The delivery will be made on schedule, Senor." Paul Koch's order of opium was fees seized by custom officers as it was being delivered from Mexico. Eva Perez Cruz, you're under arrest for transportation of narcotics. No, no, I tell you, I know nothing about that opium in my car. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the yeah. That's funny. Suspicious of Paul, Paul Kasha, the smugglers made uh, many false uh, appointments to test him. Coyote Spring, the fifth time they've left me holding the sack, checking me, of course, he says. Finally, on June 22nd, the break came. So they're going to deliver 138 five, five tail cans of opium uh, to me tonight at Woodbine Check. That's right, Woodbine Check. This may be it, boys. So get over here fast. Early that evening in a garage, Paul Koch and other customs men made plans. Doubt they'll be watching so I've got to go go it alone boys that's suicide Oscar I say a couple of us will ride in the back of your car and we'll send a couple of boys out to that old building a few hundred yards from the rendezvous maybe a good plan I've got a funny hunch that mob is up to something he says ah oh, look at that they've taken the seat out of the the car right so they're gonna hide down there covered with this blanket and suitcases you'll look just like a pile of luggage only bad thing is we'll be blind till the action begins
just after seven Paul Koch hit it for Woodbine check and possible death ought to be there about now he says coming out of a tunnel I guess no no he's just driving down Woodbine check is on the all-american canal which is right on the border a great spot for an ambush in case those dope peddlers have any idea let's check out the place cool. three of them eh? armed to the teeth two well it's my first move lights up a cigarette Buenos dias, di, buenos dias, senors. Did you bring the goods? We brought it. And you, senor, you brought the money? I think it's best if we put the stuff in the car, senor. Uh, Damara. Then I'll pay you. As you say, senor. Sorry, Damara. We're taking over. Come out, boys, he says. Why, you? It's a double cross. That's a big car. Devils. I might have known it was a trick. Drop your gun, the matter, or we'll drop you. He's got double guns going. It was a vivid duel in darkness. Zing, 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 bang, bang. Down, boys. A couple of guns with rifles have joined the fight. Yeah, I thought I heard a, a 30 caliber slam. There they are. Carampa. It is good that Jesus had us come. I'll get one. Bang, bang. But the rifleman spoke, spoke too soon. That'll stop your smuggling days for a while. Bam. Shoot some. Oh. The two customs men who had hid in a nearby building joined the battle. Get down, Oscar. They'll riddle riddle you glad you're here boys they must have sus suspected us from the first and laid an ambush he says we'll never nab them this way let's spread out flank them i'll take the left zing 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 yet one of those Slug stung my ear. Oh, right top of the ear, right there. Zing. Man, he's dodging those bullets pretty good. Look at that shot's coming from everywhere. From the trajectory on that, it's coming from behind, from the side, and from the front. Good thing they haven't got a Tommy gun. Haha. <laughs> zing, zing, zing. One of the smugglers appeared to welcome capture. Honest, senor, I never fired a shot. I surrender. But please, don't kill me. All right, I'll just snap the cuffs on you and take you back to the car. He's putting his handcuffs on him. A half hour later, the fight was over and only one man in custody three of them yelled so they must have been hit well we might as well get back to town at least we have the opium he says later in calexo tin bullet holes in the old crate in the car huh and that's a hired car 
boy will this cost you plenty guy taking snapshots of the car so police chief chief Juan Adarga got assassinated because he refused to give the smugglers safe conduct across the border and they retaliated by machine gunning him on July 2nd 1947 two months after the battle six of the smugglers were in indicted indict indict in indicted indict indicted How brutal did you get uh, get them all mr. Pol Polkash we believe at least two of them died of gunshots Jesus de Mara the leader got away and is still a fugitive breaking a narcotics ring is routine stuff with Oscar Polkash T-man we'll get their derma de Mara someday the Treasury Department has long arms and lots of them they call that Hydra. <laughs> That's probably the most accurate description of the Treasury Department. It's Hydra. And for those of you that are following Marvel Comics and stuff with Captain America and Winter Soldier and the Falcon, Falcon and Winter Soldier. What's this one? Let's check this out that's cool that's a gigantic clam t-man t-man let's check this out let's see how many more stories there are so we got t-man let's read the description of this one i think we got time for one more reading and this is the center it's really nicely intact the staples so this is a very good copy like better than very good <laughs> this is like five five point five grade nice what does the subscription say like the u.s marines as tre treasury agent is supposed to be ready for any emergency on land or sea or in the air that's okay with me as long as i've got a chance to hit back when the fight starts but deliver me from any more salt water shindigs that send me down under the briny briny to face death in the deep death in the deep let's check this out so that's one story death in the deep Oh, look at this black hawk advertisement for black hawk nice this is a very sought after comic series okay you would have been smart to buy these a great action magazine alive with excitement as timely as today's headline fast becoming the most popular comic magazine in america on sale every month what, is, what does that say january issue on sale october 24th the mightiest adventures with the greatest heroes of them all the blackhawks nice i don't know if that's from a cover i'm assuming it would be one of the covers the deadly hawks of horror check this out what is this one I think this is the last story let's read the description of this one t-man join the Treasury Department and see the world oh sure off season down in the valleys of southern France people were sweltering in the Sun and where was I where else but high up in the Alps Alp, Alps mountains freezing my neck off while a mob of very nasty foreign agents plotted to give me a quick freeze with hot lead a quick freeze with hot lead 
let's see if this is the last story if this is the last story we're gonna read this yeah let's read this one gang the last story of the book cool so we're skipping one story in this Wow, oh, look at this they're tying a rope across from where he's skiing right never do this to anyone that would hurt look at him go and i believe this is done by the artwork is irving uh irvin steinberg did the art for this one It was late last October that the La Grez Geneva Express burst out of the Montchartre tunnel in the French Alps. Toot, toot. And hit, hit a loosened rail on the 100 foot trestle over Charest Gorge. Mondeau. Oh, look at that. It's going to go over. The result was a horror beyond description. Oh, no. 100 feet up in the air. Can't be good. I saw the wreckage about noon flying over it with Mac Laird of our Switzerland field office. It wasn't pretty. And somewhere down there, Pete, is Vito Fiore, our Naples agent, with a briefcase full of data hot enough to blow up half of Europe. The Red knew he had it. They'll be after it too. You've got to find Vito and get the case to me in Geneva. I'll find him, Mac, dead or alive, and I'll get the data, he says. Oh, there's another lady in the scene. As I walk towards the camp, an angel in white, white barred my path sorry but if you're not a doctor or an aid man you'll have to turn back we're too busy to let viewers in i don't blame you honey but this is official a tea man can i help you mr trask i'm hilda busca busca maybe you can hilda one of our men was on the train i've got to find him or his body in a rush the dead were piled in, in the snow. It wasn't always easy to tell what they looked like in life. As near as I can tell, Vito's body isn't here. Then he may be among the injured in the hospital tent. Come along if you, if you can take it. I almost couldn't take it. There must be... Uh, pleasanter ways to make a living not there I don't think then follow me believe it or not quite a few people survive with mo no more than bruises she says another blank Hilda that leaves only two possibilities It may take hours to get all those bodies out. There's another aid station half a mile down where the front cars landed. Your man might be down there, she says. Oh, Gus, how about a lift down?
to the base sure Hilda climb in you too haha uh -huh. two should be double O's you too or you too there was a litter of luggage all over the snow my chances of finding one small briefcase briefcase looked about zero minus have they started collecting baggages yet no that will come after the people have been taken care of he says we were almost to the bottom when i spotted the battle battered figure of a man crawling from the from a coach window hold it that poor devil looks familiar stop gus there he is it was vito fiore vito it's pete trask where's the briefcase in there under seat he says i've got it good hand it over mr trask it was kind of you to find it for us haha -ha. what and i walk right into it with my big stupid face hanging out oh he was played he was played okay here it is throws it out of bang ow and here's a five knuckle bonus to go with it uh -huh. let me get at the capitalist dog the other guy says you got you got at me buster now what trust just keeps on grabbing their wrists eh? interesting now i will kill you in a moment the russian says i still hadn't figured out the whole score until sweet hilda bent a gun barrel over my dumb skull oh stupid bungling bungling fools Bang. knocks him in the head i wasn't out but my muscles were on strike let me kill the burgo Bur dog and bring the uh, gen gendarmes bring the gen gendarmes with a shot let let him go we have what we came for she says but that trusk is a dangerous enemy to leave alive you are taking orders from me after your stupidity in wrecking the train here you cannot be trusted get in fool do not try to move you are hurt there's someone there only my pride doc take care of my friend here he really needs help i had to move fast this was no time to play it cautious here are my credentials i've got to catch those three they've caused the wreck and stole vital papers they will not get far monsieur there is no road down there only a footpath to the ski lift at mount saint Clair. mont saint Clair. this man will survive if he can be taken to the hospital tent at once the doctor says you take care of Vito I'll borrow somebody's skis and go after those red rats myself he says I couldn't compete with experts but I've done enough skiing to get around once they have to uh, to abandon the Jeep I'll catch up fast and when I do he thinks now they're afoot and the advantage is is on my side 
My knuckles are itching for another crack at those jaws. There they go, riding the ski lift. Hilda, it is that Trask. I told you we should have taken care of him. This time I will not fail. Hey. Oh, he's on there with the skis. That's right. Oh, you pick my kind of game that time, chum. Bang. I falls down. Mademoiselle, Monsieur, you have reservations, no? Uh, they got up to the top. <sighs> to bargain. Show him your reservations, Gus. Sure, Hilda. I'll even let him feel it. Bang. Sacramond. What is the meaning of this? Pushes him off the toboggan. name of a pipe they steal our sled come back cochons return at once wait monsieur there is no ski trail down this side sorry friend but i can't wait pete comes in i'll make my own trail he says chasing the toboggan oh it's a what do you call it it's a toboggan run like a, a luge or something right cool once i caught sight of my quarry uh, down inside the ice walls of the toboggan run the rest of the time i was too busy and to think some idiots do this do this and call it fun <laughs> i'm taking a jump we where's the ski balls there they go if I if I break something on this last slope I only hope it isn't my sl uh, slugging arm <laughs> Gus your gun kill the t-man Hilda says I thought I couldn't stop but a, a buried rock caught me different taught me different I, oh look at that it comes out of his boots here i come ready or not nineteen fifty two skis eh? i will escape i will not be stopped look at the grin on his face he's all happy I will kill you myself hilda says yikes i lost my gun somewhere in the snow oh oh snowball in the face move i snatched uh snatched for the handiest weapon a chunk of frozen snow this was kit stuff where i come from baby Poof. in the face I'll take over over now sugar pie you can take orders from me a filthy capitalist pig she says <laughs> look at this <laughs> maybe I've got a mean streak but I enjoyed myself then mush on you eggheads faster it's 12 miles to town and I'm late for a date with the cops look at that look at that that's how they roll that's how they roll <laughs> fun i'm going to try to get more my hands on more of these so it's uh detached from the top stable okay maybe we ended up doing that through the reading okay but well worth it well worth it it's still attached to the bottom staple okay 
So either through this reading or <laughs> or or whatnot, the top stable got detached, right? I will show you how to learn radio, television, servicing, or compute uh, communication by practicing in spare time. Nice. Well, I should show you that. Sorry. Your practice radio communication. Fun. Play red hot. Play red hot harmonic music in eight minutes flat. Look at that. Harmonics is awesome. I love harmonica. I used to have one. Sure, it slides. Pick out any melody automatically adds chords no notes to read cool and gang this first page here that was insane this has got to be this page here's gotta be this has got to be one of the craziest craziest panels ever here raghead take this little fellow home and barbecue him for breakfast I a pig the insult beyond all insults to a Muslim crazy <laughs> what the hell wink wink crazy 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 fun read fun read t-man number three from 1952 two years before the democratically elected government of the of iran was overthrown by a mi6 and cia backed coup to take control of iran's oil right crazy 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 aside from that gang i'm gonna go back to the chat we are live streaming this and uh, see what people thought about it see what people thought about it right and <laughs> what a crazy page <laughs> that was insane that was insane nice selection for the read nice selection for the read i hope you guys enjoyed and gang uh thank you for the follows thank you for the raid i forgot who it was and hello everyone welcome to a comic book reading and it's a this is a nice great copy that was great not very busy <laughs> this like seriously right now like there would be question about if even this would be censored right like if they're able to censor dr zeus why wouldn't they be able to censor t-man <laughs> not very pc elder god <laughs> turn up i was born between the craziness of the story and your relaxing voice i was torn between the craziness of the story and your relaxing voice my brain didn't know what to do i didn't either i was like what's going on what a crazy read what a crazy read uh, but you know what i'm gonna keep my eyes on more t-man more t-man comics that was like could you even print something like this right now Cheryl just hang on for the ride <laughs> so reason that, that all you can do <laughs> it's like oh my god what that's the historical context right which is brilliant which is brilliant which is brilliant wow US Treasury Department so they trash talk uh, Iranians to a degree they totally misportrayed them right and they're okay with like Joe Blow signing Iran's oil rights way which is what they did they installed the Shah 
which gave Iran's oil rights to um, the UK mainly right UK and the United States both of them really right and then they trashed out the Mexicans Mexican border drugs coming up <laughs> right who they trashed out? and the Russians Russians of course Russia bad 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 right always no matter what they do right crazy misspelled Muslim <laughs> I know like some of the things I read I was like what like there was misspellings in there right uh, maybe Muslim Muslim oh maybe they try to make it uh, make make the pronunciation the way uh, in Iran you would say Muslim right Muslim 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 Cheryl I literally had my mouth hanging open with the pig tossing when you first read it I couldn't believe it <laughs> totally crack up insanity I've seen it spelt like that before maybe there's a reason behind it maybe I'm thinking now I'm thinking maybe I was supposed to pronounce it like a like a, an Iranian word right Muslim Muslim uh, so maybe because of the pronunciation that's the reason they uh, miss misspelt it right and the Russian person saying you too uh, you also or maybe it was both of you too I think it's just an old variation not an international uh, intentional slide okay okay so it's an old variation maybe that cool uh, interesting read well worth it well worth it very interesting read pure propaganda in the title of this of this one we loaded on all the platforms I'm gonna put propaganda in the title most likely um, Wow 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 fun gang we're gonna do more of these I missed the comic book reading from last uh, set we didn't do one in the last set so I'll try to catch up in the next few sets maybe do two comic book readings in the next set announcement live streams that we're gonna do but we have two more live streams left over from the set we're doing mathematics tomorrow morning and uh, we do current events politics current events on Wednesday night aside from that Cheryl thank you for putting the poll together gang thank you for being here uh, Moz thank you for taking care of business uh, those of you who rated thank you for the raid thank you for the follows thank you for the subs gang and I hope you enjoyed the reading aside from that if you want to know what this work is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to follow this work if you want to uh, see what it is that we're producing we're putting out uh, patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that were supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live C -H -Y -C -H -O -L -I -V -E. if you want to participate in these live streams twitch is where you want to be at and again gang thank you for the support it is in large part because of the support we're getting on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK, Gab, and Parlor. You can follow the work there or come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type in so exclamation mark social in the chat and all the links to those platforms will pop up, including our Discord page where there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information Cheryl I enjoy the older comics so much more than I ever thought I would makes me regret poo-pooing them when I was a kid yeah. <laughs> oh, so we've read some amazing golden age books that atomic age number one reading that was brilliant brilliant Basil Wolverton's Eye of Doom, the first comic we read, was so good. The EC comics we've read, so good, so good. Elder God, Muslim is an alternative spelling of Muslim. The words have the same meanings in all contexts, and both spelling have been in use for several centuries. Muslim was the preferred spelling until the first half of the 20th century. Today, Muslim is the preferred spelling. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Elder God, for that gang for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio as a podcast to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes 
and we will be uploading this live stream this reading to all four platforms sensor tube bitchute rumble and odyssey and for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms thank you very much for the support gang for those of you on odyssey for those of you on rumble for those of you on bitchu and for those of you on sensor tube and thank you for those of you who have joined sensor tube membership or or who are using odyssey tokens and uh and whatnot thank you very much for being here gang i hope you enjoyed it hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for mathematics and or current events on wednesday night bye everyone i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it